Hello everyone, welcome to another giveaway announcement for the guild. So I've only had one guild giveaway so far, it was a little bit chaotic, however I've hopefully have uh, in implemented a few safeguards with this new guild giveaway system which should help make things more happier and enjoyable for everyone. So firstly, for those of you who do not know, I do run a guild on the Harbinger server. It was primarily a giveaway guild which meant it was a way by which I could share the wealth with a lot of my subscribers. Now a lot more people are active in it, people are doing a lot of events and stuff and so that's kind of the guild it's going to become now. It's not going to be so much focused on giveaways however i will be doing one pretty massive giveaway this week because it's the holiday season and it's going to be a pretty awesome and epic thing and um yeah so i'll be talking about some information about how that giveaway is going to work and when it is going to happen however firstly for those of you who are interested in joining the guild i will leave two links in the description and in the comment section one link will deal with information about the guild the other link will deal with a very easy way to get invited into the guild but onto some of the more pertinent information about how the giveaway is going to work and when it is. The giveaway will be this Wednesday, December 28th. So not a lot of time in between when I upload this video and when the giveaway is going to be. I do apologize for that. I did want it to be more time, but I overestimated my availability on the other days. Also, I did promise I was going to do giveaways on the weekend. Unfortunately, that will not simply work because my schedule is just very tentative. And so I don't want to say the giveaway is going to happen at this time and then I actually can't even be online at that time. And so this Wednesday I know I will be free and that, that's why I'm basically doing it this Wednesday. So the giveaway will happen at two different times. The first giveaway will happen at 9 a.m. PST. Okay, to repeat, 9 a.m. PST on Wednesday, December 28th. The second giveaway will happen at 11.59 p.m. PST on Wednesday, December 28th. I will leave the times up on the screen so you guys can see exactly when this is going to happen. Make sure you do the correct time conversions. I am talking in PST. Uh, and this is all happening on Wednesday, December 28th. I know it's a little weird with the 11.59 p.m. and the midnight, but that is midnight, guys. That's 11.59 p.m. That's at night when you go to sleep, not like noon. I know there was a little bit of confusion last time I was doing a giveaway with that timing. Watching this video after Wednesday, December 28th, it does unfortunately mean you missed a giveaway. Once again, I'm sorry for the short time of the announcement. Uh, this video should be up for two days, which was enough for my last giveaway. I'm not sure about this time around. However, I will be doing lots of video giveaways. Okay, so this coming week and, if, and the weeks after that, I will be doing a lots of giveaways where I just give away an item or two in a YouTube video. And you know, this is the same system. You leave your name, uh, your character name, your server, and your faction in the comment section. I'll choose a winner. So I'll be doing a lot of those. So make sure you sign up for those if you still want to try hand at winning something uh, the other quick thing is for these giveaways in terms of the items that I'm actually going to be giving away the way it works is I simply fill up the Emperor's tab in the guild bank I will allow everyone to withdraw one item and uh, since the weekly withdrawal resets on Tuesday that means if someone withdraws one item then they won't be able to withdraw another item which means it will give another person a greater chance at winning something as I said before I will deal with alts in the guild I will simply revert it so that only one of the players will actually have access to the guild bank and then all of that guy's alts will be set to a different rank so they, they so that they cannot actually access the guild bank okay so that's a very important information for those people who have alts in the guild i know i've been getting requests from people that please you know make this character my main and make all of my other alts a different rank however um I cannot comply with all of those requests because there are simply too many of them. It's way too time consuming. So what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to make your highest level character um, the Dark Council rank and then all of your other characters will be the Sith Lord rank. So to repeat, the Dark Council rank will be the rank that has access to the Guild Bank. The Sith Lord rank will be the rank for all the alts who cannot access the Guild Bank. So don't log in right a minute or two before the giveaway on a character that is a Sith Lord rank and does not have access to the Guild Bank. So make sure you log in a little bit of time ahead and see which character has been given access to the Guild Bank and which one hasn't. So to repeat, if your character is a Dark Council rank in the Guild, that means that that character will have access to the guild bank okay and unfortunately i'm sorry i can't comply with the whole the request but it's simply too many and it's too time consuming to look at the message which character that is and then go and change the rank in terms of the items that I'm actually giving away, there will be a lot of cartel packs in the giveaways. There will be a few really nice little goodies. However, I will not be giving away some of the really, really huge stuff like the silver, I mean, sorry, like the platinum Arbiter Sabers and the um, 
the Defiant Vintage Sabres or a huge Hyper Crates or anything like that. The reason being, I feel as though if I put one of those in there, people are going to be let, like really wanting that. And then if they get something else that's a little bit smaller, they won't feel as happy because they'll be like, oh, I missed out on the chance of getting something really good. I think it's better to keep all the items and they're kind of equal. That does not mean I'll be throwing in bronze items. Obviously not. They will all still be valued at millions upon millions of credits. Like for example, if I put in uh, two packs of the Dark versus Light pack and someone gets both of those packs, well, that's like three to four million credits if you sold those on the GTN. So that's a pretty big giveaway. And so it's by no means a small thing, but I just won't be giving in the major jackpot stuff. I'll be giving those away in videos. So I'll be making a YouTube video saying I'm giving away an Arbiter Saber. Leave your information in the comment section. I'll be choosing a random winner. In the background of this video, you see me previewing a lot of items in my cargo base. Those are the kinds of things that you can expect being put into the guild bank alongside lots and lots of cartel packs. And I don't give away single cartel packs. I give away a stack of two cartel packs. I find that to be a little bit better. And don't worry, like you will be able to take out both the whole stack. You won't be limited to just taking out one. Don't worry about guild chat spam because... Um, don't worry about that because I remember last time there was a lot of worry about that. People were like, uh, people were spamming chat and everything. I will change it so that only myself and guild officers can actually write anything in guild chat. So I'll log on like 15 minutes ahead of time and I will make sure that that is changed so that uh, there will be no chat spam problems and everyone will be able to see my messages when I write them. Secondly, for those level 1 to 10 characters who kind of just created a character to be on the Harbinger server and to be in the guild, that means you pro should probably log on a little bit earlier so that you reserve your spot at the guild flagship or at the guild stronghold. Both of those areas will have a guild bank because if you log on too late, then there'll be too many people online and you won't be able to actually get into the stronghold or to get into the flagship. And since there are no guild banks on Korriban or on Hutta, that means you basically won't have access to one. So make sure you log in a little bit earlier and reserve your spot. If you're a level 1 to 10 character, obviously if you're a um, level 10 or higher character, then you have access to the fleet, which means you'll be able to just use a guild bank on the fleet. Okay, now on to how the giveaways are actually going to work and how I want to make sure everyone wins a little something is last time I had 300 plus people online, I only gave away 90 items. That was the major problem. Uh, the reason being it lagged and the items were literally gone in a matter of 5 to 7 seconds and so uh, people felt as though they really didn't have a good chance. So the simple answer is I'll give away more items. I'm going to be doing three consecutive giveaways all at once, which is 90 times three items, 270 items. So if we have the same turnout as last time where 300 plus people um, are online during that time, then 270 of those 300 plus people will be able to win a nice little item. And that's pretty good in my own opinion. And then I'll be doing two of them, right? So I'll be doing six giveaways in total. One will be at 9 a.m., one will be at 11.59 p.m. on the same day. And so that is, oh God, let me do the math, 90 times six, which is 540 items in total. I hope my math isn't wrong. Uh, it's 540 items in total, which is really a ton of items to be giving away. I think it is gonna be one of the largest uh, Swotar giveaways that I've seen. And, um, and I do think a lot of people are going to be winning. And given that there's a large number of alts in the guild and there's like 900 members in the guild, I think there's a fairly high chance that everyone who is active uh, will be able to get a little something. Now, so basically the way it's going to work is, well, like, let's use a 9 a.m. example. I'm going to log on at like 8.45 a.m. I'm going to make sure I stop any guild chat spam. I am going to fill up the guild bank. And then I'm simply going to say, okay, guys, like 15 seconds before 9 a.m., I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to apply permissions in 15 seconds. So I will give everyone who is Dark Council rank the permission to withdraw one item from the guild bank. Now, during the first giveaway, it's probably going to be very hectic and chaotic, just like last time. There's probably going to be lag. Everything's probably going to be gone in a matter of a few seconds. But do not worry if you did not win anything because I'm simply going to then put into guild chat, okay, I'm refilling the guild bank. During the time that I'm refilling the guild bank, I will change it so that no one can access the guild bank because I don't want to like fill in five items and then have those five items taken away right away. So I will refill the guild bank to full and then I will once again say, okay, in 15 seconds, I'm applying permissions again. And so everyone that did not have a chance to pick out a free item the first time will be able to do it in like, you know, right afterwards, right? And then I will do it even one more time. So really those people who were super unlucky who wasn't able to pick out anything should have a really, really good chance at getting something. The value of all the items in each of the giveaways will be basically the same. So it won't be like one is better than the other. However, there will be different items, so it depends upon how you value the items, right? The fact of the matter is I can't make it entirely equal. So if one giveaway is better than the other, I'm sorry for that, but that's just the way it's going to be. Um, really, I do hope you get what you want. It's all free anyway, so uh, you know if you do get something for free, well, hey, just sell it on GTN, make a few million credits, and uh, that's pretty awesome.
So just to reiterate for those of you who might be confused about what I just said, I know I, sometimes I'm not the most clear or concise uh, when I'm speaking because I'm just freestyling this, I haven't scripted it, but just to recap, I will be doing three giveaways consecutively all at the same time. So I will refill, I will fill up the guild bank, 90 items in there, people will take stuff out, then I will say, okay, refilling, I will refill 90 more items, people will take them out, I will say refilling, 90 more items, people will take them out. A lot of people should be able to win, then that, that's for the 9 a.m. giveaway. Then I will do the exact same thing at 11.59 p.m. to accommodate those people who are like in Europe and who have different time zones and all that kind of stuff. And anyone who maybe didn't win anything at the 9 a.m. giveaway, if they're so determined, they can then uh, be there for the 11.59 p.m. giveaway and try to win something as well. Also, guild chat spam should be fixed. Uh, using my method and also alts shouldn't be a problem. I will make sure that those are fixed. And then I think I have... Um, uh, made a pretty good guild giveaway system once again we'll see how this goes but this is no trial run this is the actual kind of giveaway uh, but i do hope it goes well i do hope it goes smoothly and um and yeah i really do hope everyone has a really good chance of winning something and they're happy at the end of the day because that's kind of the point of this the point of this is just to share the wealth i've been given so much in this game uh a lot of it has been due to just random pure luck a lot of it has been due to your own guys is using my referral link and giving me thousands of free cartel coins which allows me to do pack openings and stuff for the channel however i have way too many items just sitting there in my cargo bays i'm never going to get around to selling them which is one of the primary motivations of doing these types of giveaways to share the wealth you know while one item may mean nothing to me it might mean everything to one other person things like the swamp rancors which I have so many of and stuff and um yeah so that's kind of the primary motivation for these giveaways and um and my mandate is to try to get as many items to as many people as possible and this really was the best way that i could think of i do hope you guys enjoyed the video i do wish you luck in the giveaway and i will see you on wednesday